Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of our package of the week series in which every Thursday we go and explore some of the best packages that are available in the Flutter community. So package for this week is Flutter Sidewall. You would have seen many companies implementing this design in their application already. So let's see what this package is really capable of. Here you can see we have a list of users to whom we can slide and do various operations like delete, message and phone call. Let's say we delete this particular item then this will be deleted from that list and also there are a ton of cool features about this package. So without any further ado let's get started. Okay so you can see we have a new flutter project open inside our visual studio code and also our simulator running. This is a design that we'll be creating. We have a nav bar and then a list of items. This is nothing that much complicated so we can just close this. So for adding the package I have this first assist. So I can so I can directly run this command from my command palette. I will write add dependency and the extension is available here. All you need to just do is paste the flutter slideable name here and then this will add the flutter slideable package to your perfect ML file. Okay. We got a flutter slideable added here and now let me just run the application. Okay so we got the application running here. Now what you can do is here in the right the material app we will call the home as scaffold and click on save. Now we have a white screen here and we will disable this debug option. Now as you have seen we were doing a list view but for that list view we will be needing some data. So let's create some dummy data. So we will write data dot dot. So let's create this class user and inside this user class we will have few values like the username. Then we will have the photo URL. Other than the photo URL then we can have a title. And now it's time to add the data. So we can create another class which will be data. And here we will have static final. This will be users of type user the class that we created and we can create a list of items here so this will become user here we have to do one more thing we have to first of all initialize this and this will be like this a semicolon here and now for the values user and for the name it can be andy and for the title it can be web developer and for the photo URL I will add a particular photo here. So I'll just speed forward the video for you by adding all of these data. One eternity later. And we got some dummy data here and now it's time to create a list view and call all of these data. So first of all we can create a nav bar that we have. Background color can be colors dot black and the title can be flutter slideable and we can decrease the elevation as zero perfect and now inside our body so now inside our body we have to create the list view so this will be list view dot builder either you can do a list view dot builder or there's one more option we have a list view dot separated so we can separate each list item using a particular widget and the widget that we'll be using is a uh, let's say divider so after each and every list item we will show a divider how you can do that is so the thing that you have to provide is first of all the item count but we don't have any list right now we have the dummy data here but we have not called the list in our main dot dot file so how you can do that is here we will write list and user so this will import the slideable example data dot dot file and here we will write users and we can do a list of the data that we have which will be users. So now it's time to do a users dot length. So this will calculate the length of that particular list which is which is 3 and now for the item builder we will do context comma index and we can return let's say for example right now we can return hello and uh, this is showing error because we have to provide a separator also which will be context comma index and this can be divider so here you can see after each and every hello we are showing a divider 
and the hello is printed three times because we have three items in our list now instead of printing this hello what you can do is we will write list tile and we have to create this function this will be list tile and the value that we will be needing is the index because through that index we will be accessing the values so this can be index and now inside our list tile function we can return our list tile the reason of using list tile is because with that list tile we have so many options like a leading widget a trailing widget a title and a subtitle so the leading widget can be circle fr and we have the background image then we can provide our network image inside our network image we will call our list which is users okay so why is it not showing <laughs> okay so we define this inside our widget which will not be like this we have to define this outside the scope of our widgets perfect and here this can be users and then we will get a particular index which we already passed inside this list tile and from that particular index we have to pull fetch the photo url and this will show that the argument string of null type cannot be assigned to a normal string so we have to put an exclamation and then we can just reload and here you can see we have the profile photos here so this was for the circle avatar and we can provide a radius let's say 30 so this increases a little bit now for the title this can be text and we can provide fetch the users and get the particular index and the username this will also be null and we have other parameter which will be subtitle inside that subtitle we can provide the particular post of that user which will be a developer a python developer or the flutter developer that we have assigned in the data perfect so we got all of these value here so we got all of these value here and now it's time to get a slidable so i will just close this and here you can see so for getting the slidable into action first of all we have to wrap this particular list that we are generating in this case this is a list tile and we have to wrap this inside a slidable so the place where we are returning this list tile we can just wrap this with the widget and this will be slidable and this will import the slidable package that we just installed you can click on save nothing will do here because we have to define some properties so in slidable we have two options we can either choose this parameter which is start action pan which will give us the ability to slide from the left side and then we have the other parameter which is end action pan which will give us the ability to slide from the right hand side so we will go with start action pan inside the start action pan we have to define this particular type which is action pan so we we'll write action pan and now this action pan will take few values which are their children and for making our work little bit easier either we can provide some widgets but for this particular slidable package the widget is already present for us and the name of that widget is slidable action and now inside this is slidable action we can provide some values which will be icons so first icon we can provide this is start action pan so this means it will be from the left slide so now I guess this is showing some error the name parameter motion is required so if you open up your safari or rather the browser in which i was showing you this package here you can see we have a lot of options like this behind motion then the drawer motion then the scroll motion then the stretch motion so you can see all of these values here so let's say i try this like the first behind motion so i will write motion okay this is inside this action pan motion and this was behind motion now the other thing that we it is asking us is on press we can provide this as to be null for now if you click on save and now let's see the magic of that package so if i slide from the left side here we are shown with that delete button so we can also change the background color this can be colors dot red and now we are showing that delete button here so this was from the start action pan you can also create a lot of other buttons like if you go in here and paste this let's say we create this share and we give this as a blue background then we are also showing a delete and a share option here so this was for the start action pan and we can also copy this and now we can write end action pan and then do the same thing here also 
let's try with some other motion let me just write drawer motion this was the second one okay and now inside this let me write this as a message this can be blue and for our call this can be green so now let's see what will be the output i guess there is some issue okay if i click on save now if i slide from the right end i'm showing this call and a message option here and if i slide from this then we have a delete and a share option so these are some of the functionalities that can be provided from this now other than that slide option we have one more thing if you click on this action pan here you can see we have this value dismissible if we write this as dismissible so whenever this start action pan is dragged to the end of the screen then that particular list tile will be dismissed it will not be deleted from the memory but it will be not shown here and once we do the hot restart then that value will be shown to us so here you can see if we write dismissible we will have to write this as dismissible pan and on dismiss can be empty for now so if you see if we dismiss okay so this is showing us an error that we have to provide a key so let's say we go to our slideable and here we provide a key this can be value key and for the value we will provide the index so if we just reload now we can dismiss this easily also inside are this drag option if you click on this slideable action here you can see we have another thing which is a label so we can write the particular title for this this can be delete this is up to you according to your choice and now we want is if you click on this delete we should remove this value from the index now we can do is first of all do double check that you have a stateful widget because we will be using the init state so this will be init state and here inside our init state we will fill the values of our user so let me cut this from here and we will write user is equal to list of data data dot user and now we can create a function remove data we will get the index that we want to remove and this will be users dot remove at the index and now if you go to our delete button and here we call our remove data and pass the index through which we want to remove and reload the application so right now we have andy joy and shivan so if we want to remove this joy you can just click on delete we're showing okay i guess i would have to update the state so this will be like this if we reload and if we delete this we got that removed and also this and also this so this is everything that i wanted to tell about this package so if you watched till now then definitely click that subscribe button and support this channel thank you